reasons for long resistance. So number one, uh, I've said the terrain worked to their advantage. The terrain. So the mountainous terrain, they are, this is a highland, this is the rift valley. They have hills, they have uh, valleys. So they understood their terrain very well, as opposed to the British who were visitors in that area. And even the, uh, the, 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 the Swahili and the, uh, the, the Swahili and the Somali and the Indians who are coming to help the British could not be able to understand that terrain. So that gave them an advantage. Another reason why they put on a long resistance was the army. They had a very large army that was provided uh, by the uh, ASET system. Every now, every, uh, every time they had initiation, they recruited new army members and the army was very disciplined just like that of the british they were very disciplined and well trained because they took a lot of time and also they had a constant supply of food a constant supply of food they had constant supply of food they had mixed economy they were farmers and livestock keepers Though with the British coming to attack them, at some point they used the scorched earth policy where they could uh, burn down and destroy the Nandi food. They had surplus food because they were livestock keepers. So that enabled them to continue fighting. And also they had experience. They had military, military experience. They had military experience that enabled them to continue fighting they had fought a lot of battles they had uh, subdued all their neighbors including the maasai that came to help the uh, the british so they had amassed a lot of experience in the year uh, fighting the next thing uh, was that they had pride they did not believe that they could be defeated and it was their culture to continue to uh, to to uh, to uh, get wins in every battle. So they were a very proud people. They were a people who were susceptible to war. They could not accept any kind of defeat. And then uh, the second last, they had able leadership. Able leadership. Koitarel Alap Samoy, who was the Orkoyot at that time, provided a very solid leadership. He galvanized the whole community. The warriors together with the communities came together to fight against the British. And then lastly, the climate was to their advantage. The cold climate. Uh, the British could not withstand the climate uh, in, uh, in, the, in the Rift Valley. So that gave the, uh, the Nandi a comparative advantage over the British. So... Today we have learned about the cause of the resistance of uh, the Nandi and how we have interrogated into details how they fought against the British and how finally they were defeated in 1905. And I've also explained the different reasons why the Nandi were able to give such a prolonged period of fighting. They fought for a very long time. So that uh, 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 brings us now to uh, the end of our lesson. But before we end, allow me to give you this revision question. Uh, allow me to give you this revision question. You just write it here. Revision question. And the question is, state and explain. State and explain the reasons why the Nandi put up a prolonged resistance state and explain the reasons why the Nandi put up a prolonged resistance so those uh, that is the question I want you to attempt uh, uh, at your free time uh, um, I, I encourage you not to check on what you have or, or on your notes that you have made just try and remember uh, what we have learned and with that we've come to the end of our lesson today until the next time we shall meet 
बाय बाय